Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcine. Hello there, I'm Daniel for Calcine Media. On December 5th, the United States and the European Union reported progress in addressing EU concerns over a US climate bill that would deprive the bloc's electric vehicles of US tax incentives, but were unable to address the issue. The Trade and Technology Council is an important platform for deepening bilateral cooperation to improve trade and establish global technology and security standards. Geostrategic problems such as Russia's aggression towards Ukraine have highlighted the significance of tight collaboration through the Trade and Technology Council. The EU and the US held the third ministerial meeting of the Trade and Technology Council in College Park, Maryland and released a joint statement. Commission Executive Vice President Margaret Vestager, European Commission Executive Vice President Valdis Dombrovskis U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, U.S. Secretary of Commerce Gina Romano, and U.S. Trade Representative Catherine Tay on the U.S. co-chaired the meeting. Both sides reviewed the work of the EU-U.S. Task Force on the Inflation Reduction Act, in which the EU expressed grave reservations about, amongst other things, its discriminatory measures and distortive subsidies. The early progress made was highlighted by the Trade and Technology Council. Meanwhile, the EU stated that it hopes that the US would resolve its concerns constructively. Taking note of the progress achieved by a task force established to handle the disagreement, the two sides stated in a joint statement after meeting that they appreciated the EU's concerns and reiterated their willingness to address them constructively. The statement also added that they underlined the Trade and Technology Council's role in achieving this and supporting a successful and mutually supportive green transition with strong, secure, diverse supply chains that benefit businesses, workers and consumers on both sides of the Atlantic. To accelerate the development of electric cars, the United States and the European Union will develop a unified international standard for megawatt charging systems for heavy duty vehicles, which will be deployed by 2024. In addition, the EU and the US plan to produce guidelines for public electromobility charging infrastructure in 2023. While the EU nations appreciate the increased commitment to the energy transition, they are concerned that the $430 billion Inflation Reduction Act would unjustly disadvantage their industries compared to US competitors. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for further notifications. I'm Daniel reporting for Kalkine Media.